You are now watching Numbers Don't Lie with your host, the real KP, Tight Work and Sweets 99. People lie, but numbers don't. Yo, what's going on, fellas? It's your homie, The Bus, and we back again with Numbers Don't Lie. Yo, man, y'all, y'all know this is one of the feature shows on the DML Network. And, of course, you guys know I got the two homies with me. Tight Work, what's going on? Yes, how you doing today, sir? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, man. You alright? I see you over there coughing, man. What's that? Yeah. I'm I'm trying to get my show voice. Alright, alright. So what? hey, last last but not least, we got my man Sweets99. What's good, homie? Hey, what's good, man? I'm back. <clears throat> I'm a little under the weather, but we're gonna make it happen. Let's go. I hear you, I hear you. So hey, we here with another episode of Numbers Don't Lie. And hey, y'all know what we always say. Girls lie politics lie Matty Ike don't lie no more but hey these numbers don't lie so hey how, how's it been going man for y'all for y'all this this season man well for myself man I, I probably have thrown more interceptions than I've thrown all mad it's crazy but uh, you know we got a lot more cats healthy this year going into the playoffs we living man we got to figure out this offense but other than that you know shit, we're looking to do some things okay okay so you're looking to make some noise in the, in the in the in the holiday in the holiday playoffs this this season what about yeah, you tight work uh well we limping into the playoffs like him i lost my two star running backs and um hey we we gonna see what we can do man we we just gonna show up press buttons call plays and hope for the best gotcha i gotcha i gotcha so Hey man, let's let's not prolong the show, and let's let's get on into the the meat of the the offensive scheme of most teams and coaches, and that's the offensive line, the Secret Service, and we call them the Secret Secret Service because you got to protect the franchise quarterback. And right now we're looking at the top ten protectors, top five protectors of the offensive line. You got my man Joey, Joey Dooney, the left tackle from the Texans. You got your boy Cody Whitehead, left guard from the from the Bears. And the Seahawks, Ethan Pokick. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And we got the dude from the Patriots, Marcus Cannon. And we got the homie from the Saints, Henry Sweet. What do y'all think about these, these five offensive linemen, man, that are part of the Secret Service? Of the DML. Hey, hey, um, you know I like the fat. I got I like the fat guys, the, the, the hangovers. But <laughs> hey, without 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 these guys, man, hey, ain't nothing possible. And um, for the most part, all the guys that's up there led their offenses to I think top fifteen rankings. Every yeah. team up there had a top fifteen offense, so they 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 had to play a big part of it. Right, and the, you know what? I, out of all the guys that's on this list, I think the one guy that really stands out to me is Henry Sweet because he's a lot. He's younger than all these other cats, man. He's he's what? This is his first, second year in the league. He's actually a, uh, a draft player. Draft all these player, other yeah. players are real players, so that's that's pretty uh, pretty good to see a draft player. It seems like when you look at top linemen in the uh, you know in the awards and stats. It's always the guys the highest overall, so this is nice to see a, a drafted player up there. Yeah, actually, Henry Sweet is a rookie from Ole Miss, and of course, you know, to be on that Saints um, team and O-line, you got to block for um, AK-47, Camara, and you got to block for Mariota, man, and maybe that's why that, that Saints team is, is um, currently um, undefeated at the point, at this point. So, um, you know, with the O-line, man, you, you got to protect the quarterback and you got to have some some dogs out there to, to you know, get that O-line moving and, and facilitate that run game, man. Yeah, and yeah, I think the Saints got the number one um, offense in the league, too. And that's a big part of it comes from Swede. Right. And shout out to, uh, to the, the schema. Oh, yeah. the boy so, uh, schema. Because uh, Joe Thune is a Patriot. And I guess he's been transferring over to uh, SJ. 
where he's uh, thriving in his system. So good job, Schemer, giving Hold giving up. away one of your top linemen. So <laughs> Hold you could have had two linemen on this list, but you got one. Are you, you smarter I, than you are? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Are you point? Are you pointing out Joe Thune because you a Patriots fan? Is, is, I mean, listen, bro. I'm a Patriots fan. We know this, but let's be real, man. Patriots had one of the top offensive linemen in Madden when it started. You supposed to keep that, bro. You supposed to keep that the whole way. But I understand, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the screen and it, and it got a Texans logo by Joe Thune name, so. We, we not even we not even gonna recognize the Patriots for that one, man. Since you already <laughs> did, <laughs> but anyway, now the, the the thing about the Secret Service is, man, you you, you gotta have you know high caliber. You, you gotta have the credentials to get on this list because if 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 you don't, then that takes me to the the next scene where the quarterbacks are getting sacked, and I'm just gonna say. Please don't sack me, bro. Please don't sack me. Because looking at this list, man, I don't see how these teams are winning when you got Mason Rudolph for the Steelers having 80 sacks, Jameis Winston, 79 sacks, Patrick Mahomes, 68 sacks, Baker Mayfield, 68, and you got Sam, Sam Donald with 61. Can, can anybody explain to me what's going on with these teams and why they are giving up so many sacks? Um, all of them got a big play receiver and they holding on to the ball to try to get it to that receiver, I think. Because um, Rudolph, well, that's the worst team in the league right now. Shout out to my homie Flair. Hey, but um, I think a lot of it comes from holding on to the ball too long because two of the teams up here, they, they have top 10 offenses. Casey going to the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then the Jets had the number two offense right behind the Saints. So I think that... Them two comes from holding on the ball too long. Flair made it a point to get an O-line after the draft. He traded one. I gave him one. And every game I watched, I'd never see him give up a sack. So he need to so, fill in the rest of the fold. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm looking at Jameis Winston with 79 sacks. Now this is this bothers me because he's been addressing the O-line in the previous offseason. Remember he made the trade with Matty Ice and he got Kelsey. Mm-hmm. And he made another trade with Matty Ice, and he got Lance Johnson. So right, those, bro. those are two guys that should be able to solidify the offensive line and prevent him from giving up so many sacks. So I'm not sure what's going on um, in Tampa Bay. Besides, so you say he need a new old line coach? A uh, new old line coach, a new playbook. I, I don't know. He he needs something because I mean the the moves that he that he's making they're Makes not helping. It makes sense, but they're not, you know, helping Jameis Winston at all. Not giving up, not not with the Tampa Bucks giving up seventy nine sacks. Man, right. word on the street is uh, the Falcons, man, have has, has really benefited from that terrible old line. You know, I don't know what it is about the Falcons, but two top, two of the top three pass rushes. Mm, I wonder what, what's going on there, man. Oh. I don't know. So uh, Jameis uh, has seventy nine sacks, right? <laughs> I wonder how many of those sacks were mm-hmm. credited to the Atlanta Falcons and that rookie they got. Um, what's what's the homie name? Jails. Jails. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bradley Jails. Mm-hmm. Word mm-hmm. on the street is it's a little uh, Brett Favre, Michael Strahan, Strahan action going on, but I, <laughs> I I don't know nothing. So I'm just gonna be, you know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just here. I'm just right. here for the party. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, <laughs> uh, hold up, hold. Up. Hey, I, I have to ask for a friend. I have to ask. Are you saying there is a conspiracy between the Falcons and the Bucks? No, I'm just saying. Saying, I'm just saying maybe somebody less aggressive flash rush on. Maybe a certain other somebody never adjusted the whole oh. game. <laughs> 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 Both games. I don't know. I'm just. I look. I, I'm just. I'm just throwing my theory out there. I don't know nothing. Well, hey, um, hey, I, I know we talking about you know the, the Bucks and their and their old line right now, but we we gotta look at the sacks. Like, I'm looking at Bradley Jails now. He has 17 and a half of those 79 sacks. Mm. <laughs> so mm. now, he, now he had to get some sacks against other teams. Now, well, I, hold up, let me 
Let me go look at Tark. Let me see how many sacks he got. <laughs> oh, so you got 19 from McKinley. And you got 17 and a half from from your boy Jail. Y'all y'all do the y'all do the math. Hey, I'm pleading the four and a half. Hey, so so almost half of his sex came from came from the Atlanta Falcons. I'm gonna need for the the GM of the Falcons to explain this to <laughs> to the DML. <clears throat> I don't know. Hey, let, let, I, I can go look that up. Y'all, I'll, I'll find out the answer. To this. <laughs> we we gonna look into this right now. No, but 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 for real, hey, he got two monsters out there in that in that land. I I can't argue, man. But hey, man, they did it against a lot of other teams too. Now it yeah, wasn't yeah. It all did come from the Bucks. But I think everybody in that division got a whole lot of sacks. Hey, I, I don't know, man. They, they don't have as many these Falcons against the Bucks. <laughs> they got. I'm like, God dang. So, um, hey, now, now, oh, 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 <laughs> hey, they got twelve sacks against the Bucks. What this was week five? Twelve? <laughs> twelve in one game? God. Oh. <laughs> twelve sacks. Twelve sacks in one game against the Bucks. Hey, man. Ooh, week ten. I, I, I don't know what to say about that, but that, hey. that, that was week ten. Let, let, uh, let's see they, the the second time they met up. Oh, he yeah. got seven that week. So yeah. No, twelve and seven. It's not quite seventy nine, but it is a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. So we got Baker, we got Baker Mayfield with with sixty eight sacks, and then we got my man Sam Donald for the Jets. Now I think I know why he got so many sacks, and I think a lot of other people may know too. I think he's holding the ball when he run that play action stutter. I think that's why so many sacks are accumulating in. New York. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? Hey. The man holds the ball for when the play action shot plays. That's the only reason he got sacks on this list. Cause he's just a stutter route. It takes a long time. Sometimes you gotta hold the ball until the, until the receiver runs from eighty yards across the field. That's all. Well I'm y'all gotta say, man. Sam Donald has sixty one sacks. 61. So, and then when you're trying to throw up to that 6'6 six, six big ass receiver he got, you got to hold the ball a little long. You know yeah, that, that is, is that what it is? So, uh, yeah, he only got 85 feet. It takes him a minute to get to where he got to get to. Yeah, right. Yeah, he he, he kind of slow, so you got to wait till he get there. Then throw it. Right. So, hey, man, I'm, I, I think these guys are all, all these guys are going to their offensive coordinator, O line coach, and just saying, Come on, coach. Please, please don't allow them to sack me, man. They they need some of their old linemen to get on that DML Secret Service um, department. So, yeah. With, with that being said, now we look at sacks, and then we look at you know points per game, defensive points per game. These are some of the reasons why some teams in the DML suck. This is why you suck. This has been a, a, a household, you know, um, name for, for this area of the show. This is why you suck. Now, some of these teams were on, were on the This Why You Suck slide last year. But then we got some newcomers, too. So, let's take a look, fella. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite segment right here, boy. This is why you suck. This is why yeah. you suck. We got the Bills. Oh, hold up. The Bills are a repeat, are a repeat offender. Repeat they, was on, they was on here last year. We got the Steelers, the Rams, Bengals, and Broncos. I think they was on here last year, too. So let's look at their offensive points per game. And this is why y'all suck. The Bills are only averaging 10.4. The Steelers have not won one game. They're averaging 13.1. The Rams, 13 and a half. Bengals, 13.9. And the Broncos, 14.8. I'm not sure what's going on with these organizations, but we, we got to turn it around, man. We got to we got to put some points on the board. What, what do you guys think? All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and step in on this one. Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know what's going on in uh, 
in Los Angeles, but these Rams were not on this list before. Uh, my God, man. Six touchdowns to 46 interceptions with Jerry Goff. Six to 46 with a, with a quarterback rating of 47. This is why you suck, man. Like, 40, 40 interceptions? Good Lord. You can't do it, man. You can't turn the ball over. So, I would say, hey, Rams... That 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 interception ratio to touchdown ratio. This is why you suck this season. I don't expect to see him on here too much longer because we all know King Vitamin can ball. Yeah, he can um, ball. But man, I don't know what what the problem is going out there. Hey, right, what do you what do you what do you think about this? This why you suck when it comes to offensive points per game, defensive points per game, and then and then these teams third down percentage. Um. Well, I, I'm gonna talk about these Bills. He he had a bad draft spot. He took the the Bills. That was that was number one. Then he's in the AFC East. You got the undefeated Jets. I'm me and the schema. Your boy, the schema is average, but I think the AFC East is kind of tough. And he he's at the bottom of the barrel. He's gonna be on this list until the next cycle, I believe. <laughs> You, you, you can't win scoring 10 points per game. That's that's saying he get three field goals a game, then every other game he might get a touchdown. Right. And then you give up 28 points, 25% on third down. It You suck. You know what I'm saying? That, that's my dog. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Me and him chopped it up. He, he cool. He play kind of late, you know what I'm saying, most of the time. But, yeah. yeah. But, you, hey, but that division is kind of tough, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna give him the benefit of benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? I think he sucks only because of that division. Right. Now, one thing about the Bills, he was on here last year, and you mentioned that this year his third down his third down percentage is 25, 25 percent. Well, looking at last year when he made his first appearance on this, why you suck? His third time his third down percentage was 36 percent. So it's even lower than last year. So when you only scoring 10 points per game. Giving up 28, and you only converting thirds down on 25%. That's a resume for uh, a plethora of L's, and for you to be on <laughs> on the next. This is why you suck. We haven't made it yet, but I'm going. I'm going to pencil your name in, um, because I know you're probably going to be there. But like I said, if you look at the rest of the teams, the Steelers, the Rams, the Bengals, the Broncos, all those go, all those guys. Are playing horrible, yeah. And um, the only team, the only team I look not to be there next year is probably the Rams. The other right. four, I'm gonna step out on so, the ledge, man. I need these Broncos to step it up, though, man. It. I think the problem has had to be this quarterback. He put all his, you know, his, his money into this, this not money, but uh, all of his faith into this quarterback he has. And he's just been terrible, man. Ten touchdowns on the season, forty-eight picks. You you gotta you gotta get something going, man. The the Broncos have a good team, a good core. You know the defense is nice. He got a couple of receivers he can work with, running back, all right. But he got to do better, man. This 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 throwing so many picks. I think he gets he gets into the chat. He starts to talk like, oh man, I hate this game. This is and this and it just snowballs. You know, maybe you need to get out the chat, man, and just play your game. Quit worrying about how mad and screwing you. Just, just, just focus, man, because it seems like when you get down, or you get down and you get your ass whooped, it's just ridiculous, man. <laughs> all right, hey. so, so I don't see Brock up with no more, bro. That's all I'm saying. Hey, just go ahead and write a um and pen. Put a B for a team that's gonna be in. This is why you suck next time, because <laughs> one of those teams. Bills, Bengals, Broncos, gonna be here. Oh, that's that's the that's the three B. Okay. <laughs> hey, well, hey, that that was just one area of why teams suck, which which comes down to your points per game. Now, another reason why teams suck is because they turn the ball over. So let's let's look at this turnover difference. That once again we have the Bills, Bengals, Broncos, Rams, and Steelers. You know, on this particular, this why you suck. Um. I really can't explain why they're turning the ball over so much, and they're not really taking it away. But this is a this is a a, a reason why teams can't get wins. 
and stay on this list. What do you What do you guys think about the turnover differential? Yeah. It's 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 funny to see Flair the Steelers with 50 giveaways and the Bills with 55, and both of them picking one and two, and the teams that's behind them Bengals, Broncos, and Rams 65, 63, and 72 in that order got better records than them. I'm 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 trying to figure it out. Is it the takeaways? They not taking the ball away enough? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of funny to look at it up here, but that is why you suck, man. Hold on to the ball. The best Bang- rounds with 72. Whoa. I feel like these Bengals shouldn't be on the list, man. I feel like he was gifted Baker Mayfield, uh, you know, and, and you got a nice squad. You was gifted uh, uh, Garrett. Garrett. You got Miles Garrett. So the pass rush, his pass rush is nasty. I've seen him play guys. I've seen him beat guys. I've seen him win games. Is it that they not? I mean, the pass rush is set up for turnovers, you know, picks and and different things and all that. But man, what I don't what's the, what seems to be the problem in Cincy? You know, what I'm saying, why are you throwing so many picks with Baker Mayfield? Why are you not picking the ball off enough on your defense? I need to know, man, because I don't understand it, big homie. Hey man, one one thing he play he play always play late. So maybe they maybe they tired. <coughs> maybe it's so that fatigue. Need, so he need to play earlier, huh? Yeah, he need to play earlier, man. But hey, I, I, we we got the Bills, Bengals, Broncos, and Rams and Steelers as you see on the screen. But let's not forget one thing. I didn't put them on there because right now they have six wins. But you can't forget about the Dallas Cowboys. I don't care how many wins he got. I still think he sucks. So, <laughs> if you if you're looking at his stats, his his turnover differential is minus thirty. He's giving the ball away sixty nine times and only taking it thirty nine. I think that sixty nine comes from him trying to force the ball to Mayer, his his number one overall pick, who got hurt. So he didn't make the list, but he he gets honorable, honorable mention. <laughs> but this is why you suck is when it comes to turnovers. Yeah, well, I give you that. So HBO, pick it up. All right, that's that's HBO, man. So hey, hey, this was this why you suck. Um, so let's kind of swing it over to you know we, what we focus on two teams, one team from the AFC, one team from the NFC, and the NFC team that we're going to talk about is the Green Bay Packers. Um, the Green Bay Packers, man, they're they're a pretty good team. They, I think they missed the playoffs by maybe uh maybe a game or two, but we all know their their focal point was their running back that they got in the draft, which was Kerry Colbert. But if you're looking at their team as far as like yards, they're averaging like 280, 280.2, which is 20th in the league. Passing yards, 164.6, which is that number is wrong, I believe. So, rushing yards is 115.6, which is fifth. This number I expect to be high because of the running back. But what do, what do you guys think about his, about the running back that he has? Oh, he's a monster. Yeah. He's a monster, even though his acceleration is real low. But, hey, he won the Heisman Trophy, and he, he's up for rookie of the year right now. Yeah. So, he deserves all the accolades he can get. But they need to do better on his team to compete in that um, north with them, the monsters of the midway, them bears. I will say he came out on fire. Uh, he came out leading the division, I think, through the first five games or so. Um, and then dudes kind of caught on, uh, you know, to figuring out, I guess, what he was doing. And then he hit a bump. He hit a, a major pothole in the, in the shape of uh, HBO that, that just completely made him emotional, you know what I'm saying? And then he hit another pothole of the of the uh, <laughs> coach. And then his just rims just went sideways, and it, you know the car, the car is just limping, man. I will say he's not completely out of the playoff picture because he wins his next game, he'll be finished at nine and seven, and he needs the Panthers to lose to be a, a three-team race for for the uh, wild cards to be nine and seven. All three of them be nine and seven: the Panthers, Cardinals, and Packers. So he needs to win his last game to even 
to even maybe get a chance, and he needs the Panthers to lose. Um, I think this dude is good, man. I think he can ball. I think he get a little too emotional. Uh, I've been into the chats where he uh, has, has said he's ready to cut uh, Aaron Rodgers, and, and he's just sick of the team and this and this. And I've also been in the chat where he just completely beasted the dude. So, you know, he's up and down. He almost like HBO in a, in a sense where, you know, they, they up and down. When they winning, it's great. When they losing, the whole team stinks. You know, which is most of us anyway. But um, I think he's good, man. It, this running back is a beast, man. Yeah. I mean, my goodness. Karan Colbert, is, Karan Colbert is a monster, man. I mean, right now he's he's leading the <laughs> NFC as far as um, offensive player of the year. And he's probably oh, leading for um, running back of the year. So I, I, I expect Colbert to, you know, come home with a – bunch of trophies to put in his case in his trophy case but those awards don't get you wins you got to get in the in the postseason try to bring home a trophy to the to the green bay packers so um hey let's slide on over to the to the afc and that's my man flair with the pittsburgh steelers like right, I'm, I'm gonna let you go ahead and and, and, say, and and tell me what you think about these steelers having you know 258.6 yards, which is 23rd in the league. Um, they're 17th in the league as far as passing. Almost, almost dead last in the in the running game. Only averaging 55.3. What, what, what's what's going on, you know, in Pittsburgh besides you know them making an appearance on this is why you suck. Well, they suck, man. <laughs> they ain't nothing else to say. Hey, he need to find a um a running game. His 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 run offense is like non-existent, and then his um, he keep. I don't. I, <laughs> ain't too much you can say say about these Steelers, man. They they're a bad watch. I do like the right tackle he got from Miami. Hey, he's good, but the rest of the offense is is terrible. And then I think it started um, draft day when he took the worst of the first round quarterbacks, and then he drafted him, and then started another quarterback on top of. Him. The, the and then he can't run a ball like like I said before the, he's struggling man and it's not just his offense but it's it's bad down there in Pittsburgh I hope he find a way out but it's not looking too good right now yeah man I I, I think the the flare has burnt out in Pittsburgh there's no flare there's no light it's just simply dark <laughs> there's there's nothing to look forward to in Pittsburgh. I'm and not then, getting it, though, man. And He's sitting here with some ballers on his team, though. I mean, you got you got Le'Veon, you got uh, Brandon Cooks, you got Antonio Brown, you got Austin Safarian Jenkins. You got some ballers on your squad. You even picked yeah. up Kirk Cousins in the offseason. He don't and he play. And he ain't even He don't play. But, but uh, Mason Rudolph got, what, 3,269 yards, 12 touchdowns. Yeah. 43 interceptions. Don't forget the sacks. Don't forget the sacks. How many sacks does he has? 80. Uh, 80 sacks. <laughs> 80 times. 80 sacks? That's, 80. Dudes peeing off. Dudes is like, you know what? They they they, they put they, they lick their finger. They put their put their finger in the air. They see which way the wind go. And they just get <laughs> running to the quarterback. And they having a beat. Bro, they having a picnic in the backfield, hitting the quarterback, sitting down, having lunch on his chest. I mean, it's ridiculous. How you can get sacked eighty times in a in a whole season and zero wins? Come on, bro, zero wins and you got all of these superstars in your team. It, it, it just don't make no sense, man. If, if it's not a sack, it's an interception. Uh, oh, guess what? You know what? He got the first pick, so he can go out and get him a monster. No, oh no, no. He got his own guy. <laughs> hey, Jesus, I'm sorry, I'm cussing too much. Um, what can we do with? Like what is it? What is going on, bro? If you go completely, you can't say it's tanking. You don't no. win no game, and then you ain't got nothing to look forward to in the draft. Like the best dude on the board is gonna be sitting there, and your pick is gonna be used by somebody else. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas, the underrated man and the Redskins. So, hey man, that that was that was team numbers, man. When we went over the the Green Bay Packers. And we discussed the, you know, the lights being turned out in Pittsburgh. So, uh, with that being said, let's let's move on. To, I, I, if you guys are hungry, we're gonna move over to the spam award. 
you know, I don't know how I don't know how many people like spam, but the New York Jets love spam. And Felix Porsche, <laughs> Felix Porsche put up 1,447 receiving yards. But let's not forget, he had 22 drop passes. So, you guys may already know, why is this guy on the Spam, spam Award? Oh, come on, we already know. He's 6'6", he's 230-some pounds, he's real big, he throws number jump balls to him. No, no, uh, no. He, You know, he, he does the all the little the little bullshit routes or whatever, man. He He's getting this guy... Because, you know, probably everybody called him, uh, said it was a stretch arm strong or whatever. So, you know, he got something to prove. Uh, but he's just throwing it up, man. And somehow, some way, he's able to get so many animations. Uh, I played him earlier. I had a 6'3 corner that would, would better jump on him. And somehow, some way, out of about 10 passes he threw up, he caught about five or six of them. Went to the house on one, you know, just a uh, big game on another. He just finding a way to throw it up there. Uh, kind of like... Um, Kind of like the Cowboys used to do when he had a uh, big Welch. Just throw it up there. You know, one-on-one coverage, throw it up. Right. But if, if, if y'all didn't forget, the only reason this guy is, is really getting this spam award, because you know he won the Stretch Armstrong Award with this guy. That's what so, I'm yeah. so, but So what's his name? 215? I'm going to call him 215. He came out here with something to prove, trying to make it seem like he can just play with anybody. And that's why this guy has the award. So he won. He won the Stretch Armstrong Award and the Spam Award. So I don't know how. I don't know how far Spam stretches though. <clears throat> hey, Swiss, Swiss forgot to mention that low a six is guy catching balls on his ankles on the post routes. Yeah, <laughs> he throw a forty yard post route, low ball it, and nobody in the fucking field can can even pay attention to see what's going on. But I don't do nothing to manipulate the AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. We, we know about the high ball in the end zone. Most people don't probably don't know about the low ball, but boy, they found out this year. Hey, we know now. It's spam. We know now from Mr. <laughs> Felix Porsche. Right, spam. <laughs> spam. Spam. <laughs> Hold up, boys. Hold up. So, so the jet, so the jet stuttering and spamming. Spam. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So, hey, man. That that was the, the the spam award, and it goes to Felix Porsche, who plays for the New York Jets. And um, man, we hey we, we brought you guys a, a a great show, but um. Hey, let's let's not forget about um, the combine that's coming up, and that's on December 24th. The combine numbers drop for these for the current class, where you can see um, guys' 40s, their, their strength, their broad jump, and and this is where these guys make their money, man, for the DML. You know what I'm saying? They come out here, they perform for the combine, and they try to get their stock risen. So this is where most DML guys. Um, are waiting. They're waiting to see these combine numbers to see who they're going to place on the draft board and where. So I'm looking forward to it. I think everybody else is looking forward to, it, man. And uh, what, what, what are you, what are you guys looking forward to as far as the, the postseason and off season, man? Well, um, and I, I'm looking forward to, to see this playoffs and how it's going to play out. Um, off season, the trade should be interesting. We'll see who, you know, see who gonna get who gonna get that rape, who gonna get that Cosby. Uh, you know, I, I'm just interested to see. I love I love the combine time because this tells whether your dude that you've been scouting and looking at is gonna be a John Ross or he gonna be a, a Jarvis Landry. You know, quick a quick super fast dude or he just gonna be a, a real good route runner. You know, not a, not not with with no top end speed like that. So. I'm excited about this combine. Also, give love to the big dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? They're, nobody ever watched, uh, take a count the bench press. Yeah. yeah. Bench press is nice, man. Everybody wants that 90, 90 strength uh, lineman. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like like my man, um, Tight Words, he like that. Tight Words, he like that overhang. <laughs> yeah, I want to give me the belly. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, I, I just want to. I want to um, see these playoffs. I want to see if um, Swiss can dethrone the Saints and if whether or not he's going to repeat as Super Bowl champs because it's, it's kind of tough over there in the NFC. Oh, you know, it's a, it's a one horse race in the AFC from what I'm hearing. So man, I, 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 I want to see what happens with that, man. That man is undefeated. I, I, I appreciate y'all just looking over the Bears, man. God damn. I hate Hey, we, we underdogs, man. We won our division, but hey, we underdogs, man. It's, it's King Addy right now. <laughs> hey, I hear you. Hey, he won, hey, Addy won the last Super Bowl, man. He's trying to repeat. So, hey, uh, uh, according to, to expert, we, we can't talk till we get a banner. We can't even talk to him. I ain't got no banner. So, I guess I can't speak. So. Hey, I, don't, I don't have one either, man. Hey, um, tight. Can you tell expert? Um, the, the, can I see his banner? Hey, um, expert. I'm asking for a friend. Can we see your banner? Yeah, because it's not getting posted as much as um it used to be. But yeah. we want to see that banner again, man. Yeah. But hey, man, we're gonna wrap. We're gonna wrap this show up, man. This was a, another episode of Numbers Don't Lie. Hey, we appreciate appreciate you guys. You know, tuning in. Make sure you leave some comments. Make sure you subscribe to the DMN Network. Watch all the shows. Hey, we, we bring you guys some great entertainment, man. And on that note, I'm going to turn it over to Tight Work. Sweet, see if they got anything to say. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, it's play on time. We concentrate, man. Oh, okay. Hey, we full concentrate mode. Hey, <laughs> but, um, hey, thanks for watching. Hey, make sure you hit that like button. Yeah. So, oh, man, that, I ain't nothing to say, man. Just uh, let's get it. Let's go. I'm ready for right, advance. Hey, on that note, man, hey. Have a great postseason, man. Looking forward for the offseason, man. Hey, shout out to Newt for everything you do. And we out, man. Y'all hold it down.